Hello and welcome to Rain's Kitchen and Garden. My name is Rain. Today I'm making a delicious pumpkin bread. This is so good. With all of the spices, it smells great and it tastes so good. It's perfect for a cold November day. I actually got this recipe from a friend of mine named Joyce. I've changed it a little bit, but I've left a link in the description below of the original recipe. So why don't I show you how I made it? The first thing that I did was I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark 4. And I have a loaf pan here, it's 9 by 5 inches, that's 22 by 13 centimeters. I buttered and floured it. And in my bowl here, I have a medium bowl and I have one and a half cups, that's 225 grams of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add one teaspoon or six grams of baking soda. I have a quarter of a teaspoon or 0 0.7 grams of baking powder. And I have some delicious spices. I call them autumn spices. In this little bowl here, I have a half a teaspoon or 1.5 grams of ground cinnamon. I have a quarter of a teaspoon or 0 0.7 grams of ground nutmeg. And I have a quarter of a teaspoon or 0 0.7 grams of ground cloves. A quarter of a teaspoon or 0 0.7 grams of ground allspice. So I've also got a half a teaspoon or two grams of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk all that up make sure that it's well combined and I'm going to set that aside for now. In my large bowl I have one and a half cups of brown sugar that's 293 grams and I'm going to add two large eggs and a half a cup or 125 mils of light tasting olive oil. I use light tasting olive oil in all of the baking that calls for oil because I find I can really taste the oil, other oils that I use. So I like the light tasting olive oil. I find that it doesn't really have a flavor in the baking. Now I'm whisking and I'm also kind of pushing down and smashing up the brown sugar just to make sure that there's no big clumps. an easy recipe. Excuse the banging. There we go. Now I'm going to add my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients. And I'm going to mix that up until it's combined. I'm just using a spatula. Now it's more or less combined. I'm going to scrape down the sides. It smells so good. It smells like it smells like autumn cooking <laughs> with all those nice spices and the sugar. Really nice. All right, so to this mixture, I'm going to add one cup or 236 grams of pumpkin puree. If you're using store-bought pumpkin mix or pumpkin puree, don't buy the mix. Make sure it's pumpkin puree because the pumpkin mix has spices in it and we've put spices in our batter here, so you don't want to overdo it with the spices. This is my frozen pumpkin puree that I put together last year. It's been sitting in my freezer for a year, so it's fresh pumpkin puree. I've got a third cup or 88 mils of water and I'm going to stir all of that in until it's combined. It 
So I'm going to grab my pan. I got pumpkin all over my finger. <laughs> Just going to move some stuff around here. Wipe off that pumpkin. And I'm going to pour the batter into my prepared loaf pan. And it is quite liquidy, as you can see. It's supposed to be like that. All right. And that's going to go into my oven for anywhere between one hour and one hour and 15 minutes until I stick in, I have a little wooden skewer. I stick that in the middle and if it comes out pretty clean, then I know it's done. My pumpkin bread is baked very nicely. It smells amazing. I actually checked it after one hour and I put my skewer in, in, into the middle and it came out with a little bit of batter on it. So I decided to put it in for an extra 15 minutes. So a total of one hour and 15 minutes. But if I go into the middle now and I put my skewer in, it's come out clean. So I know that my pumpkin bread is completely cooked. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes in the pan and then I'm going to turn it out onto my cooling rack to cool completely before I try it out. My bread has been cooling for about 15 minutes in total. I just couldn't wait any longer, so I decided to cut it open. It's still steaming. It smells so good. I made a loaf of this yesterday and it just tastes amazing. I like to put a little bit of butter on it and eat it while it's really hot. I hope that you enjoyed this video, my friends, and please leave me a comment. I love reading your comments and I do reply to them. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Rain's Kitchen and Garden. Bye!